Gaming Techie here again, and I'm going to do something a little different than normally. I am going to actually go through the process of installing an SSD into the newly minted PS4 Pro. A lot of people want to know how to do this. I'm kind of curious myself. I, I don't know 100%, but we can, go through the, um, we can go through the motions. Why not? I'm sure I'll be able to figure it out. What you will need, you will need a screwdriver that has a small enough head for the screw. This one doesn't strip as easily as the... PS3 one, if anyone tried to upgrade the hard drive of that, you know the blue screw of death, and it sucked. Uh, the next thing you'll need is you'll need a PS4 Pro, or a PS4. This actually works kind of similarly, but not exactly the same. You will need, then, a hard drive. Either any 2.5 millimeter hard drive will work. I chose the Samsung Evo 850 500GB to give me at least most of the space. I know this thing has a terabyte right now, so it's a little bit of a downgrade, but a major upgrade in speed. So, you need that. Next, you'll need a 1 gig or higher US, uh, USB stick to install the operating system. And uh, that's pretty much it, so let's get started. First off, I'm gonna, I guess, kind of unbox the, the SSD, because we're gonna need this. I chose the Evo. I've had good luck with all the Samsung SSDs. And while I don't need super speed for this because it's still only a SATA 3 connection inside of here, I need at least something that'll be fast enough for this. Wow, this thing's light, I forget. It's actually funny, this is one of the largest SSDs that I've that I've used. I have a, a slew of 256s in my computer. I have an M.2 um, NVMe Samsung. I think that was the 950 Pro. I have the um, I have the 850 Pro and the 840 Pro, to all 256s in my machine. All right, so enough of that. Let's, let's get to opening this up. So the first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to take off this cover. And I was wondering how to do it, but you basically just need to apply some force and open it up a little, a little crack, and it comes off. And you'll see now, I'm going to put this upside down to make it easier to see. There's a little, little screw right here. And that's going to be the one we're going to take out first, I think, hopefully. So my screwdriver here, try not to strip it. Seems like it comes out pretty easily. So it did not strip or get close to stripping, so that's nice. Take the screw out, and then I think that might be the only screw holding it in. Oh, it is. Sure enough. I haven't even turned on the PS4 Pro. This PS4 Pro could be dead for all I know. Take it out, and there you go. We have our drive cage, and it went in like this. Remind me, video people, please. God, I'll probably put it in the wrong way. So we're going to move this to the side for now. And I'm going to start prepping the drive. So this one's going to go in exactly the way this one comes out. I love these mini hard drives. I can't believe a terabyte on such a, such a small drive. It's really incredible. Just gonna unscrew all these. I mean, I remember buying hard drives in the meg range. I can't believe that they've really gotten so big. The same thing with SD cards. It's it's freaking crazy. It really is a crazy. But nonetheless, they're small. They're fast, and you can't. I can't really deal without SSDs anymore. That's one of the reasons I'm upgrading this. I mean, if I'm going to be playing some serious games on the PS4, which it's been a little bit of time since I've played serious games on the PS4, I beat a bunch of the early titles in there. So you took out all four of these screws, and they were good, but I haven't played much since then. It literally replaced exactly the way it was in. It's good to make sure you do these things. Quickly, and now I'm just going to line up the screws and start screwing them back in. I was deciding between um, a few different drives, and again, I said I went with Samsung for the reliability I've had with them. I mean, granted, at any time you can get a bad drive, so it's like not exactly the best system, but even so. Samsung also makes pretty much the fastest SSDs. I know that the Evo line is a little bit slower, 
and my mdoc2, but because it's only a SATA3 interface, why break the bank for um, why break the bank for the PlayStation? For Pro. I'm always happy when new tech comes out. I know some people were a little bit disappointed that uh, that there's a PlayStation 4 Pro. They just bought the PlayStation. I know consoles for a lot of people are like a fairly cheap, well, not super cheap, but it's at least a way to get like really good quality games. And I'm having trouble lining this up. Let's try that. Let's try this side. This drive's a little bit thinner than the... Oh, I think I got it. Got it. A little bit thinner than the um, than the HDD. Um, console game is really important to people, and you know you break apart the community by adding this and that, and then they need to upgrade, and not everyone has money to buy a freaking system every t two weeks. All right, so I reinstalled the the drive, tighten them slowly but surely. And buzzing, but to boom. I have this big screw left. I have the cover. This is the old hard drive. I'm gonna put it in the SSD case. And now back to the PlayStation 4 Pro. I remember how the drive came in. It's gonna just slide right back in like this with the metal part on the bottom. Let's see if I can find. There we go. Sounded mostly good. I hope. Now I'm going to screw this back in. That's going to take us to the end of the first part of this video. Next up, I'm going to install the operating system. This snaps back on. This is going to snap back into place as well. The screw has PlayStation symbols on it. It's pretty freaking cool. Why <laughs> don't you go back in? Probably because I'm doing it completely wrong. Oh. There we go. Snap back in. So next I'm going to install the operating mm -hmm. system, so we'll be back shortly. All right, we are now at the TV with the PlayStation plugged in, and uh, this is what it's showing on the television screen. So it says, cannot start PS4, connect DualShock using USB, and then press PS button. I'm going to press the PS button anyway, see if it connects. It is not. I also have my USB stick here as well. So let me plug in the PlayStation controller and see what it prompts us to do. USB ports are on the front. It's, it looks a little bit cooler than the... Uh, than the PS4. I thought the PS4 looked pretty cool too, but God, I can never get the freaking USB to go in the first thing. Higher USBs don't do it. Okay. Miracle. No worries. Alright. PS plugged in. Connect the USB storage device that contains the update for reinstall version blah blah blah. Later. You can download the reinstall from PlayStation.com. I will put in the show notes where you can download this from. It was a, just under 900 megs. I have it installed onto the stick. I'm going to plug it right into the front. And we can get started. I assume this is going to be a pretty simple process once I manage to learn how to use USB ports. All right, it's in. All I'm going to do is hit OK. Let's please wait. So it's about 900 megs, so you can figure out exactly how long it's going to take. Too long. If you get an error, you probably put the folder structure wrong. I think it's PlayStation 4, update, and then the .pup file, which is the system. There's the system file. So we'll see if I did it right. I might not have. But that's the essentials of what you got to do. It's really not, really not bad at all. Fairly painless. Um, to install the SSD. I mean, this isn't like the modding or anything like that. It really was as simple as opening up the SSD, unscrewing the other ones, and then putting this one in and installing software. So we wait. Now we wait. 
I'll come back when it's done because this could take, I don't know how long it will take. All right, we're back with the next steps. It says the PlayStation 4 will be initialized, all users and data will be deleted. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. And now it is doing the install of the software pretty quickly, preparing update system software. You get 900 megs, so not huge, but it'll take some time to transfer over. Pretty painless process so far, so hopefully I got everything right at the moment. Looks like it's restarting. So I just booted back up the PlayStation once it finished installing, and there you have it. You have the PS4 Pro. United States, and you can go through the whole setup. That's pretty much it. That's all it took to install the SSD. Super simple, super quick, and if you have a PS4 Pro and you plan on using it a lot, or even a PS4, it's definitely worth thinking about uh, up updating the hardware. So, Gaming Techie, like and subscribe. Peace.